I left my house September 28th, 2011. And the boys were in the front yard tossing a ball around. Nothing was different. That's all I remember. When I woke up, I had a tube down my throat. I couldn't see. I was assaulted. I was beat to death. The doctor said that whoever assaulted me squashed my optic nerve. And I thought to myself, ah, whatever. He'll just open me up, reattach the wires, and the lights come back on again. And he put his hand on my shoulder and said, I'm sorry, Andy, you're going to be blind forever. Family is probably the most important thing to me in my life. That's why he hasn't been talking. That's what he's been Love to be around them. Love to hear their voices. Love you, Mom. Love you, Dad. Shut them up. Family is a perfect thing. That's what you did back in the day. I live with my wife, Christy. We've been married 21 years. God bless her soul. These are just wedding shots and then one of us kissing. You may kiss the bride. Yeah. It was a fun day. We had a lot of fun that day. Honest answer. No, oh, really? Now's the time for honesty, honey. <laughs> Would you do it again? Oh, absolutely. Even blind? Even blind. I'm blessed. <laughs> oh, whatever, dude. The hardest thing for me being completely blind is not seeing my family every day. For me to, to learn to accept, you're never going to see again, Andy. You're never going to see your wife, your children, your dog taken away in the blink of an eye. It's not fair. My doctor said, wait a second. I heard about this company that is coming out with this device to help you see again. Uh, my name is Misa Meng, and I am the assistant director of low vision research here at the Chicago Lighthouse. The current study that we have um, is working with testing the safety and efficacy of the BrainPort device. The BrainPort V100 is a sensory substitution device for people who are totally blind. So instead of using the eyes to see, they're using their tongue as a platform to take in information. I was trembling with anticipation. When I put the brain port on for the first time, and I had to process, why is my tongue buzzing? And Misa, the woman who I work with, said, Andy, let it feed into your head. What are you looking at? Remember, you don't have eyes anymore. And I felt this buzzing on my tongue, and I felt the impression. And then I saw my hand. For the first time in five years, I saw my hand. Something that small is huge. And the first person was little Andy. And he shook his head back and forth. And he said, Dad, you can see me? He said, hey, Pop. It had been five years since I've seen my kids. When I saw my family for the first time that day, Blue there. Actually, you gotta zoom out a little bit. <laughs> that was cool. <laughs> he grabbed my hand. It's it's just it's it's a perfect thing. I'm sick of my tongue out of here. Look under two eyes there. <laughs> Billboard's got big heads. <laughs> that we do. Okay, can I bring it back? Mm-hmm. 